Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Officially, I'm in charge of Bravo Company. Christ, keep it down. You want to blow the whole thing? We've worked years for this. But maybe it's good for you here. Shu knows about the leaks, and I'm supposed to find the spy for him. At first, I couldn't believe my luck. But since I haven't produced results, for obvious reasons, I feel him looking at me differently now. Maybe he's just thinking about putting someone else in charge. Maybe he's starting to suspect. Either way, it's bad for me. Especially once this next part goes down. It took me three and a half years just to make captain. Usually takes four, but I made sure there was an early vacancy. Caesar sees threats before they're even aware of them. He sent me long before we moved to occupy the Eastern Riverbank. And now all my work, all the waiting, is about to pay off. If you haven't noticed, the NCR bolsters its presence on the strip from here, sends troopers on the monorail and shifts. The monorail lets them occupy two positions for the price of one. It's a supply line that's immune to raiders and other hindrances on the ground. If someone were to cut that line, both positions would be much weaker, fragile. They know this, and they watch it like hawks. But I've been here a long time, and I've learned everything there is to know about it, and I'm going to blow up that train. I told you, I think they're starting to suspect me. You're going to help me cast away those suspicions. You're going to put the bomb on that train. I'll be sure to be in the presence of several reliable eyewitnesses when it happens. Then, we're going to pin this on a scapegoat. I plan on disappearing after this operation. It'd be a matter of time before they trace it to me. Figured out I was a frumentarius. But with your help, maybe I can stay on after all. Make plans for something grander. No, no. I wouldn't do that. Not unless I didn't have better options anyway. And I do. I have the explosive stash in a trash can, next to the ticketing counter, along with some incriminating documents. You'll pick them up and make your way upstairs to the monorail terminal. They change the guard there at 0900 and 1800 hours. There'll be a small window where there's no one guarding the train. Put the bomb in one of the vents inside the train on the back wall, towards the joint that connects the cars. Arm it, and get out of there. I've also left some bomb ingredients in with the explosives. You're to take those to the footlocker of Private Crenshaw. Crenshaw's a problem child. Lots of run-ins with his superiors. It'll be easy for them to believe he's working for the Legion. Report him to Colonel Shu. Do all that and we should be free and clear. Oh, and Crenshaw should be dead before you report him. Don't leave any chance for him to deny the bombings. Let's say he pulled a gun on you. I've got him on guard duty patrolling the tarmac just inside the south gate, and I reassigned the other guard, so he should be alone. His footlocker's in the barracks in the main concourse. Good. Try to plant the explosives quietly if you can. You'll make both our lives easier. But first things first. Go offer your services to Colonel Shu. Tell him you'll work independently to find the leak. He's running out of options. He'll accept as long as you don't give him a reason not to. If he doesn't, then don't be surprised if you're the new scapegoat. So don't fuck this up. Later. I'm usually good with faces, but I don't think I've seen you here before. What brings you to Camp McCarran? Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. 
Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Bye. Hey, can't you see I'm busy here? Nah, I'm just kidding. This has to be the most worthless patrol duty on the whole base. They never attack this gate. They just put me back here because they don't think I can handle anything else. <laughs> my reputation precedes me, I see. I pulled a few pranks in my time. Ah, usual stuff. Brought a Brahmin upstairs in the terminal once. They can go upstairs, but not down. Two heads and both of them dumb as stumps. That got me some detention time, but it was worth it, because they couldn't get the Brahmin back down, so it visited me a few times in my cell. Dropped some firecrackers in the toilets, too. That was the real bad one for me. Turns out there's no way to replace the toilets now. The toilet company blew up on the war. I think they'd just have shot me if they weren't short-handed. No kidding, what'd you cook up? Uh-uh. Really? That's great. I was getting so sick of this. Uh-uh. Get you later.
Poor Crenshaw. He's pulled his last prank. Go and tell Colonel Shu you found the bomber. Once Shu's convinced, we can breathe easy. Later. Yes, what is it? What? Who? Crenshaw. I've met Crenshaw at his disciplinary hearing. Still, this is hard to imagine. He was just a prankster. I was afraid of this. Caesar's reach is longer than anybody guessed. If only we'd caught this sooner, before he got to the monorail. Still, this investigation has been valuable to us, and you deserve to be compensated for it. The NCR appreciates the work you've done. Will there be anything else? I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent, but I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. Bye. dividends for the Legion for a long time to come. I was with Shu when the bomb went off. He'll never think to investigate me for it. I'll make sure Caesar himself hears about your success today. And take this, courtesy of the NCR. I'm sure they won't miss it. Later. look like that. What is it, soldier? Sorry, this is state business, what I'm working on. You'd have to do a lot more NCR ass-kissing before they'd let you help me with this one. Not... Now, what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious?
Yep, see you around. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the Colonel. If it's good news, it better involve some dead fiends. Damn right I am, and I'm paying bounties. One thing I should tell you about Cook Cook. Piece of shit is pure animal. Right. I see you're still alive. Well... Got any more good news for me? You cut. You've got some guts. Right.
Still working on that last bounty? If that's true, that'd be the last of them. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? You're back. Yeah, so far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-god centurion of Caesar's legion recently. Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's Legion, from Caesar on down, will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. Well, I don't know about you, but to me that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. Yes, and one time I thought I saw a tear when I told him his uniform was unflattering. But I think he just got some dust in his eye. Don't have anything like that. Sounds nice. Like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. But even if we did, I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. Asshole's too valuable. I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. I think if you rough him up enough, and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. Do you You know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. You know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? 
For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Seelus? If you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in. He's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? Kaisar's eyes truly are everywhere. And here I thought they'd send assassins instead. Did the officer send you? Hmm. Perhaps not then. I don't know what name he goes by here, but I saw him when they brought me in. And I recognized him. When I saw him last, it was ages ago. He was training to be an agent of Kaisar's Frumentari. Apparently he passed the trials. And what a job he's done to achieve such a rank. I have no doubt he'll deliver a crippling blow to the NCR while he's here, perhaps many. I have heard that he's been radioing high-level NCR intelligence back to Kaisar's camp virtually every night. But never mind that now, we don't have much time. If you can get me a weapon, the rest will be easy. In the hall outside, they still have my possessions in a locker. There's a gun in there that should be small enough to get past the lieutenant. When she comes back, I want you to go and get it for me. Simple enough. Good. But for her to trust you to re-enter the room, she'll need to believe you've been doing what she expects of you. You'll need to punch me until I'm bleeding and weak. Go on, this is nothing compared to the Legion's training. Watch out! Over here! You like that? Stop for a sec. Whoa, easy there. You're supposed to rough him up a little, not kill him. Why don't you step outside a minute? Let off some steam. Nice job. Thank you, see, I don't know how much longer I can keep her under control. You think this will make me talk? The beating? This is the best you can do? Not just any beating, Seelus. A savage beating. A beating that you'll be reminded of every time you feel pain from now on. When my friend's done with you, you won't have any of your teeth left. You'll be drinking your food through a straw. Your ribs will never heal properly, and it will hurt every time you breathe. It'll be like your collars, Seelus. Impossible to forget. Go to hell. Huh. Not the sort of wit I've come to expect from you, Silus. You're getting nothing from me. I'm getting entertainment. That's something. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna spill your guts to me? Or am I gonna let my friend the maniac back in here for some playtime? Silus. Silent treatment, huh? Have it your way. Come on back in. I think he misses you. Oh, and let me check you for weapons one more time. For your safety as well as his. Got it. Good. Give it to me. I'm going to pretend to be unconscious. Let them send you out so no one suspects you. When I'm alone with a guard, I'll shoot him and leave in his uniform.
Poor guy. He's all tuckered out. Well, I guess we'll have to pick up where we left off tomorrow. Good work. I'm sure he'll have had enough after a few days of this. Or, if we're lucky, a few months. I'll get someone in here to clean up the mess he made. You can head out for the day. Let's let him sleep. Mind cleaning up our mess, Corporal? Not at all, ma'am. I'll get right on it. Get your ass up. What the... Awe, are you ready to travel to the fort? The trip will take a few hours. By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. Your Awe, true to Kaisar. Was there more for us to discuss? I know the captain well. The destruction of the NCR monorail was his doing. Of course, if the NCR were to hear of that, it would be obvious who told them. Wale. Well, 